Hello there my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and it's time to get our game on baby. I loved me the game on the Scott Reed Project and today we are going to be cooking rabbit. Now what I've got here is some fantastic loins of rabbit. What I've been doing when I've had rabbits is I take the loin off the bone, put it in the bag, freeze it down. When I've got enough I make a nice dish, great in curries, stews, whatever. But today we are going to make a French dish called Boudin Lapin. Or lap in. Anyway, it means rabbit boudon. So what I've got here then is eight ounces of fantastic rabbit loin, eight ounces of fatty pork. I've got one onion which I've chopped, one big shallot which I've chopped. That's shallot. I've got three ounces of breadcrumbs, two egg burts, and I've got four fluid ounces of milk, proper milk, full fat. You can see the cream in it. From a Jersey cow, beautiful. I keep it at the bottom of my garden. No, I don't. I've got two tablespoons of parsley, two tablespoons of chive. I've got my salt over there, and I've got some cata species. Oh man, you know my French is abysmal. So first thing we need to do then, we'll get over onto the stove. I want to make a panada, which is basically a sauce made of breadcrumbs and milk, and then at the same time. We'll get some butter in the pan and start just gently browning off our onions and shallots. Right, can you remember all that? There's going to be a test at the end. Let's do this. Right then, into my one pan, a decent knob of butter. You can't put a bit of better butter on your knife. Remember that? Try saying that after 10 pints of cider. Next, we want to get our four fluid ounces of milk in. Just gently bring it up to the boil. Remember, milk is absolutely nuts when it's get the heat underneath it so keep an eye on it and once our butter browns we will get our shallot and our onion in there so we'll get that going it's camera land want to get that just nicely colored and then wait until we bring that up to heat my hands are clean so don't get panicking so in with my three ounces of white bread crumbs. Now, you want to be creating a thick sauce with this. So stir it. And once it starts coming away from the side of the pan, which I will show you, take it off the heat and it's done. You can see then that bread crumb has taken up all the milk. And when I mean when it comes away from the side of the pan, just like that. And that's what we want, a thick mix so what i'm going to do is just take that off the heat and let it cool so while we're just waiting for those to take on a little bit more color i am going to mince my eight ounces of rabbit and eight ounces of fatty pork now if you haven't got a mincer but you've got a food processor just do it in that just put a bit at a time and just pulse it you know you don't want to really reduce it to a pate or a mousse just take your time or if you go to your butchers, your friendly butchers, ask them to mince it for you. Because they're good like that. Trust me. This may well be one of the most tastiest but easiest game dishes to prepare. Here we go. Here's all the hard work. There's our minced rabbit and our pork. In. Then in with our onions. Now if you've got the rabbit's liver, by all means, mince it or chop it and put it in with the onions and just mince, uh, mix that through so we get that in there then with our panada get that in crack in a couple of eggs one and a two then get two tablespoons of parsley, two tablespoons of chives. Then we will crank in some pepper, give it a good couple of rasps. Get some uh, sea salt in there. I think that'll do. I know what I'm doing, honest. I know it looks like I'm just throwing stuff in the thing. And then the Catra species. Oh man, I do apologize to any of my French colleagues. 
so we give it a good pinch of that beautiful spice mix and then it's just a case as we're making sausages getting your hands in and if your mix seems a little bit wet I mean that ain't so bad actually just add a few breadcrumbs but what we will do is roll these into little balls get them in the fridge to chill and then the magic happens we are going to poach these gently in chicken stock then we're going to let those cool egg wash them breadcrumbs and fry them you're going to have lovely hot nuggets of lapan or rabbit so just get that mixed in as you can see it's starting to stiffen up now just squeeze it through your hands get it nicely mixed and then we will roll these out into little balls just look at that I mean you know that that can you get it on the camera now look? is going to be superb oh yeah baby Friday. well it couldn't be easier take some of the mix you'll find it easier if you wet your hands each time into meatball size voila as we're talking French and mine's amazing and then we'll just get it on a tray just to cool down and set but as you can see perfecto right I'll carry on doing them right then time to poach these little beauties how do you like them boudons so what we need then is some chicken stock I've got it in this so you can see me doing the poaching but uh, you don't want to let that boil obviously just keep it just a gentle heat like that and then we're just going to put them in and poach these for about 10 minutes each freak out on a boudin daydream oh yeah as you can see then they've been in 10 minutes they're floating just have a look at that so I'm going to take them out drain them let them cool in the egg in the breadcrumbs in the oil baby so my beautiful balls excuse me there have been chilling in the fridge nothing like chilled balls as you can see they're nicely set all we need to do now is pané them it's just a posh french word for in the egg shake off the excess into some fresh breadcrumbs and that is that i mean you can always double dip as well the one time where double dipping's cool just to get an extra coating on two ways you can fry these off obviously in oil or some nice foaming butter obviously with the foaming butter in a pan you will need to keep turning it but there are those beauties ready to go okay then so you don't need me to tell you how volatile oil is if you're going to go for the oil method how's that looking oh yeah so gently lower it in good way is to take it off the heat let it settle down and just keep an eye on them until they're golden brown just have a look at that golden brown textured like sun absolutely stunning you know you want him go on this is torture isn't it i must stop doing this how are they looking for you i just want to get my final two out of the oil and then we will crack one open one two right then don't they look good hey okay. so there is one let's put it on there shows up a bit better listen to that you can tell i used to be a drummer this one is just out so it's piping hot but just have a look at that So if you remember then the rabbit the pork the breadcrumbs 
the chives, the parsley, the egg, salt and pepper, and that lovely spice mix. I mean, the combinations are endless for this. Uh, I would definitely put some chilli in there or some other spice you fancy. And then, I tell you what, eat them hot in mayo or mustard maybe. Or cold, take them on picnics, take them on shoot lunches. Just imagine having one of them. Well, I think we know what that's going to taste like. Just have a look at it. Beautiful. The humble rabbit. Oh, yeah. Now, my friends, things like that are absolutely deadly. You can just keep eating them and eating them. And I'm not going to eat the other half because the sharp ride of you will realise there isn't as many left here now as what we started with. Hey, ho. Huh? That's rock and roll, baby. So if you like what you're seeing here today on the Scott Reed Project, please subscribe, guys. I need to get to 100,000. I'll be well chuffed. I can do it with your help. Also, as per usual, social media, Facebook, Scott Reed or the Scott Reed Project, and on Twitter, at the Scott Reed Project. Until next time, do give these a go. They are absolutely brilliant. Right, take care. I am going to put these somewhere where I can't get to them. I don't know where. All the best.